Welcome back to another month of Lit Chicks and we're super late and we're super sorry but it's summer and we were traveling all over the world. Yes. You know? <laughs> honestly it's true. We were, were traveling to Virginia, to Atlanta, to... Where did I go? <laughs> Where didn't you go? I went to other places, so we were all over the place, but we still found time to read The Unhoneymooners. That was our pick for this month. Oh, look at that gorgeous and, yellow. Oh my god, beautiful. It's perfect for summer. Yes, it's perfect, perfect for summer. Perfect it has the leaves, it has the flamingo. It has the flowers. You know? But yeah, it was perfect read actually for my trip because it was like super chill, super funny, super romantic. Yeah, yeah. it expecting. has everything you need in a book. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect. It's a perfect summer read, honestly. <laughs> it was easy. I finished it in two nights. Damn, girl. Damn. You know? Damn. Damn. But yeah, so The Unhoneymooners, Christina Lauren, another Christina Lauren book. I just, know. We had to, guys. We just had to. They're so good, though. Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> so in this book, we have Olive Torres and we have Ethan Thomas. Yes. Um, and Olive has a twin yes. who is super lucky. Super she, lucky in life. Yeah. Wins everything, gets everything, 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 everything. Everything. Meanwhile, Olive in a very funny way in a very comical way yes very comical this is definitely rom-com like super funny mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um she's very unlucky <laughs> life just does not go the yeah. way she needs it to go she's, she's a self-proclaimed unlucky girl like yeah. she never she never wins a contest she's always uh stepping in a puddle of mud like breaking a leg yes like always the worst happens to her something but she's used to it she owns it she's yeah like, she owns she she's like, is She's like, it's fine. I'll, she's know. accepted it. She's like, I, I like to call her an optimistic pessimist. Yeah. Because she's like, she is. That's what she is. She's like, I mean, I know something bad's going to happen, but oh, I'll well. be all right. It's fine. I'll, I'll deal with it somehow. What's new? <laughs> so, yeah, so for her, it is actually, it starts off with her sister's wedding. She's getting married, which she won in a contest or whatever. Yeah, she, too. she won, like, she entered a contest, won the dream wedding. She entered another contest, won a, a wedding buffet. She entered another contest and won a honeymoon. She entered this contest and got a, a dress for free. So, like, everything that, <laughs> that they saw, it was won on contest. Yeah, basically, everything. So, on that note, she got a free buffet. <laughs> And just to know, her sister is definitely allergic to like shellfish yes. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the buffet happens to be a seafood buffet <laughs> that she won, right? So she's like, I cannot eat this. And then Ethan, who is the brother of the groom, yes, and notoriously known for not liking Olive yes. for whatever reason, they clashed heads from the get go, from the beginning. Yes, they, so they're like sworn enemies, super, so to speak. Super bickery to each other, which let's be honest, we all love them. Yeah, <laughs> we love when yes. this happens. Yes. Um, so he's very like he's like a germaphobe. He doesn't like germs, so he doesn't like eating off a of buffet. Yes, <laughs> which is actually kind of funny and cute and it's, eerie. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so they're the only two that don't eat from the buffet, right? So what happens? Everyone else. Not even till the end of the wedding. All of a sudden, everyone starts <laughs> throwing exploding up. from both ends. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Can I say diarrhea in this video? <laughs> I don't know. Will you get banned? I don't know. But it's kind of gross. But yeah, everyone starts throwing up. Bridegroom, everyone. 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 Except for Olive and Ethan. Yeah. The so, two that didn't partake. Yeah, exactly. And then, so everyone's definitely ill. Like, they have, they won this honeymoon, right? Yes. And the terms were that if they can't go, then, you know, it's canceled mm -hmm. and it's non transferable, so they can't transfer it. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, is that Ethan's brother, Dane, tells Ethan, hey, please go on this honeymoon. It's free. You have to we go. can't let it go to waste. Exactly. But it just so happens that all his sister also tells her the same thing. She's just like, hey, go, take advantage. You need this vacation. Go you know? live your life, whatever. Mm -hmm. So what happens? The, the sworn enemies go on this honeymoon together and have to act like a married couple. What? So yeah, so what? and just 
the way it goes their bickering back and forth oh is so funny it's hilarious yes. hilarious so the complete enemies together having to get along and pretend they're married in a beautiful setting of, of hawaii, hawaii. <laughs> like super romantic and it's like a 10 day vacation yes, like yes. it's not like it's like a weekend thing no it's 10 days lots of days stuck together lots of tension yeah so little by little as the time goes on you know they start to i mean what happens when you're in a confined space yeah, with someone yeah you have to constantly confront them and see them and be with them and be around them you know some of that it's like we discussed in the duke you know the duke book when oh yeah a fine line of hate and love does that line get crossed what do oh. you think <laughs> oh yes it can in many situations it gets crossed <laughs> so you know they basically go on this vacation and things me have come to light things blossom but also not just good things also some bad things happen mm. with other people in their lives mm. which also adds to a, a plot point that I feel like we'll get into in another section of this video <laughs> but, <laughs> but the actual book was hysterical it's so freaking good it's a, a hispanic family so if you happen to be hispanic or friends with hispanic you know how nosy the godmother oh. the aunt the grandmother and when a big news breaks and everybody heads to the house they all cry together and cook together yes yes christina lauren got that it all goes down <laughs> like the fam the phone tree this tia calls this tia the other tia calls this tio this tio calls the parents the parents call the cousin the cousin calls the other cousin the daughter and the, the son and somehow everyone knows everything i've recently experienced this yeah so <laughs> you have it's tr the truth <laughs> so sexy factor sexy factor this book in the best way was not overtly sexy so, you know, if that stuff kind of makes you queasy, this is something you can very comfortably sit with. And actually, the <laughs> the, the cover isn't too threatening. You know, I don't know there's like a pink a, a pink one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a toucan. Okay. There's a penguin with a long beak. <laughs> a tropical penguin. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> this isn't like, you know, the guy with the no shirt kind of thing, like, you know, like and this. exactly. So you can definitely read this at a cafe and not be <laughs> And you don't have to worry about someone when they read over your shoulder because we know they do that. There won't be anything too threatening and too like, oh, no, it's kind of thing. super, it's super, it's okay. It's, there's like one sexy moment, obviously, because it's still a romance. Right. But it's like the initiation of the sexy moment right if that makes sense it kind of just tells you what's about to go down yeah like of. i mean obviously there's descriptions of like there's descriptions but not like of no. anatomy it's like like the next morning she's like oh i'm still sore from this and all i think about is his you know hard biceps you know like <laughs> <laughs> i was like mm. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, but it's like that. But it's you not know? threatening. It's not yeah. overwhelming. It's actually, honestly, a lot of the stuff is actually pretty sweet. It like, is. You know, it's very sweet. Like it's sweet. So like I was like, I found myself going like, oh, that's so cute. Like oh my god. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think like a three. A three. Mm -hmm. Three point five. So we do a one to five, so it's like a three. Like a three, so it's nice neutral. Yes. Um, so masculinity factor. Oh, oh, I just got a sick feel out of head on my stomach. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the main guy, main guy, Ethan. Ethan. Okay, so we've got a wimp, a one, or super toxic at a five. Yes. Ethan falls, I believe, what do you think, in the middle? I think he falls in the middle. A three. You, like how you were saying when we were talking about it, there's one point mm -hmm. in the book where we both got upset with Ethan, which is like life. We sometimes get upset right, with guys. Right, that's not That's not unheard of. Yeah, you, you know, know, no guy is perfect. No guy is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. It's fine. It's fine. But there is a situation <laughs> that happens and we don't like his reaction to this we situation. don't like his reaction to the situation i was like excuse me it was a big like point deduction for me yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we're like the same person like 
Um, but yeah, no, there's just that one point. But other than that, he's actually a very cordial person. I think that he balances her out well because I will say in the book she's known to be a pessimist because like we said, she's okay with her bad luck, with the way she's that fine. things go wrong. So like to anyone else, she'd sound like a realistic person or a pessimist. And he's actually very good at balancing it out. She uh, has trouble like speaking her emotions. And he's kind of like, I see that you're analyzing something. Tell me what you're thinking. So he's, he's good at drawing it yeah, out. Yeah, he's you like know? the logical one yes. in the relationship. And she's more of like the emotional yes. one. Mm -hmm. And I think she helps him actually she helps bring him. out like that part of him. Because she's like, look, we need to argue. Yeah. You know, because yeah. sometimes people are, yeah, are scared mm -hmm. of arguing and whatnot. But... You know, there's just things that they, you know, they bring out in each other. Classic example where two people make each other better. Yeah. So, like, even though he had deductive points on our, in our view, he would definitely redeem them later on. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and they make a really good balanced couple. Yeah. So, Ethan, you yeah. redeemed yourself. Even, like, throughout all the bickering and all the yeah. jokes. I and, loved it. I love, like... I love self-deprecating humor and the oh, whole yeah. poking fun at each mm -hmm. other. Like, I love that banter. Oh, everything Olive would say was hilarious ah. about him. Just, I think I highlighted half the book. Yeah. Yes, for she sure. She was on point. Our girl was on yeah. point. <laughs> there is another character. Ethan's brother. The groom. I don't want to spoil anything, but he's definitely a five. He's a, he's a five. He's off the charts on the douche level. And you will see why. When you read this, you'll understand. Read it so that we We're can talk about it. We're not going to spoil it for you, but yes. Oh my god, please read Honestly, it so we can talk actually, about it. Even before like you yeah. like you actually know about, more about all the characters like Olive and Ethan and Dane you and already everyone. don't look kind of like him I already not don't really like him whereas yeah. with Ethan like I'm like oh he's like a lovable there's something there that you need to discover him character. Olive yeah <laughs> yeah like you know there's something sweet <laughs> and almost kind <laughs> but he was mean, mean and he, he was cold and refined that was Ethan <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the movie rating so movie rating i think taking into account the sexy factor uh -huh. which is not that sexy and it's mostly honestly comedy like i just yes. see it being like the super really good rom-com in my head like i oh see God. it yeah. I, I see it as like like that movie that came out um always be my maybe oh like, my I God. Want, yes. that's exactly how i picture this book being like oh, something great. really funny yes Please get a comedian to play Olive. <laughs> like, I think it would be super hilarious. Like oh my that. god, Netflix, get on it! Netflix, get on. Go over to to Christina Lauren <laughs> right now. We'll, we'll, we'll link their Twitter and all that. Yeah. Get it together. And also let us be supervisors of the set. Yes. Thank you. Let us have snacks. Okay. Um, but yeah, so because of that, I think I would say it's like a PG-13. I would say PG-13 PG-13, well. PG-14, if yeah. that's a thing. Yeah, I, it know, is. Like, it's okay to be on Netflix and, you know, my, if my niece walks in, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so any takeaways, quotes? Yes, that you would like to share? I just think that this book was so fun to read. I loved, um this couple ended up being just like one of those couples that are so well balanced. Like, she needed what he had and he needed what she had. And so I want to read a little expert, expert from the book. This is when, like, I want to say in my own layman terms that her heart starts kind of melting because she was very frigid towards him because she did not like him. So all of a sudden, things are kind of changing. They have a little banter before this, and they start making plans for the next day. So she internally dialogue thinks, <clears throat> when did the default plan become that we spend this entire vacation together? <laughs> and when did the idea of that not send us both into a wavy bout of nausea and when did i start falling asleep thinking about ethan's hands on my back my legs and in between my legs so obviously she starts going like, hmm, what's happening here <laughs> what's going on why am i doing this in front of you <laughs> yeah she really I think you made a good point like they really realized that they had what each other wanted yeah. and needed but it, it took them actually spending time and looking beyond themselves so you know I'll be like to realize that yeah you know like hey oh I like you oh, kind this of this works I don't want to throw up <laughs> you're actually kind of tolerable <laughs> um so mine is not as deep as that but it's actually something that made because it, it has the word flutter in here it made my heart flutter because I'm like oh why can't you know okay when a guy does stuff when a guy's into what you're into it, it makes your heart sore so she basically is you know 
this is what's happening she says i stare up at him hating the tiny fluttering that gets going in my chest because he knows the harry potter reference because <laughs> there's a lot of harry potter there references there are so many in the book in, in this book yeah i was very happy and very excited and just he's a moment, potter head obviously yes. which we all are let's be honest yes. <laughs> Gryffindor. Um, <laughs> but um but yeah just like in, even if it's not harry potter just like when you find someone that shares similar interests or at least um goes out of their way to like care about your interests and like kind of respond back like that's actually pretty sweet oh yeah that, not that many people that, do that makes the heart flutter oh okay. that definitely does if you can keep up with whatever reference i'm giving and <laughs> vice versa lots of disney movie quotes over here <laughs> as seen earlier <laughs> um but yes but overall super easy read oh god really easy i know last so month we had like really deep oh that last contemplative no. love oh, all of that like, your heart did this yeah uh, with last month this but. one is perfect for this, vacation this will mend you back together <laughs> sorry you know we want you to be alive but i really enjoyed it Carla really enjoyed I it. I loved this book, man. I kind of feel like talking about it, I want to reread it already. Yeah, we were going through the quotes and I was like, I just actually want to read the book again. Let's just start from the beginning real quick. <laughs> but yeah, so Netflix, make it into a movie. Yes! Done. At Netflix. <laughs> start a hashtag. <laughs> Alright guys, so we'll see you next month for our next pick, which will be revealed soon. Yay! Bye! Bye!